What's up everybody? Welcome to the video. My drop spindles for the Suburban came in, so we're gonna go ahead, open these up, show you what they look like, and get started on dropping the front of that thing some more. Cause it is way too high compared to the back. These are three inch drop spindles. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it clears and the front tire does not touch the fender when it's laid out. If it does, I guess I'll be mm, sectioning, cutting the fender up a little bit, allow the tire to tuck up in there more. Wow. Alright, <laughs> All right, now that my, my camera went for a tumble. Yeah, and this is how you can kind of tell on these is usually the spindle on a stock one is right at the pad right here and it's all the way up here so that is three inch drop right there all right so before we get started tearing this thing apart we're going to do a because it ain't going to move so we're going to do a baseline measurement of how far this thing is off the ground on the, the front air dam to the ground So, currently, oh, five and a half inches, give or take. So, I want the air dam on the ground. That'd be like my ideal low for this. My only thing is, with the wheel and tire combo that I have on this thing right now, I'm pretty close to the fender wells inside. So, I'm either going to have to, well, there ain't no either or, it's, I'm basically going to have to tub the front end to get the front tires to clear a little more, because put the three inch spindles on it, then it's about two inches or so off the ground, then I'm going to modify the upper um, bag mount to get that last like two, two and a half inches to get the air dam on the ground. So, basically, I'm gonna have to tub the front end, which sucks. I was trying to get away from doing the tubbing, but hey, if I gotta do it, I gotta do it. So, first thing we'll do is tear the front end apart, get the drop spindles on, and then we'll go from there and see how much more low I need. First thing we need to do is get these dang brake calipers off. And it's a hex bit. Okay. And then we'll zip tie them up somewhere. Because all, all of this needs to come off the off the drop spin off the stock spindle before we put the, the drop one on. And then transfer it all over. that one
Yeah, the brakes don't look too bad. Not zip tie. Put it through here. Zip tie it up to the upper control arm. Hopefully. There we go. Get that out of the way. Now we gotta get in, take the, let's see, castle nut off the top, the bottom, and then the one off the steering right here. Get them three castle nuts off, pop it all off, and then basically the whole spindle, brake assembly, just comes right off. Then it says put the new one on, transfer it all over. All right, let's get them castle nuts off. All right, and here is the stock spindle, and here is the aftermarket. And you can see, again, this is where the drop goes right here. Because before, the shaft was right on the bottom mount, and now it's three, eight, three inches up. So now it's basically just get all the brakes and all the, the rotor, all this stuff switched over to this one. And then we can put it back on the car and get both of these done. And the front will be, I think, as low as it can go because the tires are going to be touching the inner fender well. Took everything off the stock spindle and got it on the aftermarket drop spindle but a little bit of an issue is the washer that goes on doesn't seem to fit it's like the hole in the middle just ain't big enough but everything else fits perfect you put the big castle nut on that fits perfect but this washer just will not go on so I'm gonna grind out the hole just a little bit to open it up some just so it'll slide down on there then I can put the castle nut back on get this spindle on get the other one off get it done just like this all right let me get that done real quick all right so here it is all put back together on the driver's side and just for anybody who needs to know this is how most of the older you know mid 80s trucks are c10s all that kind of stuff spring pocket you got a plate that goes underneath bag fits in the middle perfect combo it just fits perfect i'm still running um a stock shock basically it is the heavy duty version you know for this vehicle but it is still stock placement all that allows it to lay completely out basically so That's what the front looks like. All right, let's get the tire put back on and move to the other side. So, got both wheels put back on it now. So, it's aired up right now. I have not dropped it yet. So, we're gonna drop it, see how low it is. I know the tires are gonna touch the inner fenders, so I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with that. But for right now, we're gonna air it out and see where it sits before it was five and a half inches off the ground. So, let's see where it is right now.
yeah it's a lot lower all right so before it was five and a half now it's about two and a quarter all right let's check these wheels see how tough they are oh yeah a lot more before I was tucking no tire now tucking some tire and <laughs> it is <laughs> my tires are slammed up against the fender it's all right it's what I wanted Got a praying mantis on the truck. Well, I'm gonna have to move him because because we're about to take this out, start to clean it. Well, looks a lot better with the drop spindles on. Now we just need to get it just a little bit lower because I want that air dam to be on the ground. All right, I guess that'll be another future project for this is getting it that little bit lower on it because 
I need that two inches. I want that dang air dam like just touching the ground when I lay it out. All right, catch you in the next video.